Hey, did you know you can go to ColinMullen.com in order to get art and art prints? That's why I set up the website, ColinMullen.com. So hey everybody, um, still working on my game. It's called No Fish. And uh, this scene is for the card playing area of it. If you're not aware, I'm working on a video game. That's what I'm gonna be working on for the next little bit. So if you're interested, subscribe. Anyway, I need an area for you to play Go Fish. So that way, because half of the game is Go Fish, the other half of the game is like Animal Crossing or Persona where you use social links in order to upgrade the effects of your cards. Like the king in the, the deck will have different effects depending on how well you treat that guy who's associated with that card. Anyway, I need an area to actually play the game and I realized I wasn't really happy with what I had. I had a placeholder for the longest time and it was starting to be like a design problem where I didn't have space for the elements on the screen. So I was like, okay, let's just fix it. So instead of being third person, now it's going to be first person uh, in this area. And I, I think that'll work fine. I think it'll be good. Anyway, I've been thinking a lot about something that I, I have had a personal problem with with my own art for um, years, and I haven't had a good answer for it. Um, I know in my soul that painting and doing art is something that I need to do to express myself, but simultaneously, I also believe that uh, people don't interact with canvases as much as they do with other forms of media. Um, I, I would say it's one of the forms of media that is so, um, I, I guess that people are so confused by it because it's, you've got to be smart enough to have a critique on art, you know? You can't just go to a gallery and be like, that painting's bad, I don't like it, I think the colors are bad, I think the composition's bad. You can't just do that, because if you do that, then you sound ignorant, because it's like, oh man, like, uh, you don't understand because such and such, and this, that, and the other, and you just kind of feel stupid for e even critiquing it because like who knows maybe you're right or maybe there's some secret whatever that you don't know and that just makes canvases really hard for people to interact with like people don't have a favorite painting generally and if they do it's probably van gogh or maybe goya if they're uh, a weirdo like me or something like they don't have like we're not talking like deep cuts we're not talking like yeah, I've gone and seen it even. Like, people don't interact with canvases. And the reason for that is they don't have time. You know, uh, I don't think that the average person goes to the museum. And I want my art to be able to connect to people. I don't want art, my art to connect with people who have, uh, the, the only people who are able to have days off to go wander a museum. You know, that, that isn't who I want to interact with entirely. I don't mind having a conversation through art with that person, but I would like to have conversations with more people to be able to show off my work, to be able to go, this is how I express myself. And what I've realized recently through making the video games is that video games um, can give you incredibly visceral reactions. And the strengths of video games can be so much more impactful because it's forcing you to do the actions. Horror movies are not as scary as horror games to me, personally. Because I'm always like, you're an idiot, don't go in that room. The murderer is in that room, you're being stupid right now, stop it. You know? It's hard for me to really understand why a character would do that, but you play a horror video game, and then you go, I have to in order to get uh, past this section because like if I don't sneak past him now he'll catch up on me or like uh, I have to crawl through this little vent because such and such like the decisions you make you realize the reason why you're making them and you feel it in your soul that this is a stupid idea that hits different alternatively you take something like that dragon cancer I don't know how you can more accurately describe that dread and that pain and that sadness of slowly losing your child to cancer, right? Like that, is, that was such a beautiful piece of media because it is so incredibly visceral and raw. And you can only get that experience by playing a video game. I don't think you can get that visceral and raw with a, 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 a painting. I think really what it is, I think I figured it out. I was literally just recording this and I think I figured it out. It's the difference between empathy and sympathy. Um, you can be sympathetic towards a, a painting, but 
the you actually have to go through what I want you to go through. I have I can force you into a situation the way I want you to be and set up the situation just so, like in a horror game, like in a whatever. Um, and that can create a very specific experience for you so you can feel a specific way if I so desire. Like, you can integrate gameplay elements into story elements, into art elements, in order to create a holistic experience that just... It, it, I don't think that there is another form of media that is access, as accessible as video games, uh, especially if they're not, like, super high-end budget, expensive, like, 3D graphics, like, you need a bazillion-dollar computer to play them. Games that are, like, graphically beautiful, but not that heavy on your system are very accessible to pretty much everyone on this planet. And I I love that. Do you know what I mean? And so I think for the next little bit, I think I will be a video game developer because it makes the most sense to me. And I hope that this made sense. I don't know as if it does, but I, I've talked about this before, about my issues with uh, canvases and art. And I'm hoping that I can more accurately and more specifically uh, give out like my my opinions, my vibes. I've done that previously with the Town of Nowhere and the March of the Mice, where I've been able to express things that are very intricate to explain and then just like give them to you as a gut reaction rather than like me telling you what to feel. I'm putting you in that situation, and now you have to feel that because you're in that situation. That's so much better to me than um, what I can do with a canvas. And so that's why I'm becoming a video game developer, I guess. And hopefully this actually works. My current biggest fear is regardless of the fact that I have made something and I have curated the experience using everything I can, uh, I, I hope that the idea gets across. Being misunderstood when communicating is a very annoying experience and it's a very common experience for artists. And I'm wondering if video games will do a better job at that, but anyway. I want to thank the people on patreon.com slash scarecrow, starting with my mom and dad. I love you. Thank you, Wafu. Thank you, Tofoundor. Thank you, Split. Thank you, Sophia. Nope. Thank you, Skelegorgi. Thank you, Reverend Joe. Thank you, Retrograde. Thank you, Pig Wrestler. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Mortis. Thank you, Michael Carr. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Mario Pereira. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. Thank you, Katie Ballant. Thank you, Josepher. Thank you, Gabriel Bennett. Thank you, Freak Wannabe. Thank you, Egg. Thank you, Chiptoon Glitch. Thank you, Bep. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Aggiewag. And thank you, Ats! <laughs> there we are. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that I gave you some stuff to think about. Uh, what, what do you guys think? Uh, am I cooking with this thought? Am I actually going somewhere with this thought, or am I just going insane? I don't know. You tell me, and I'll see you in the next one.